Who's this quick snapper's dream play to move the ball and get first downs and more? Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, we're going to be talking about a play uh, that I ran um, in previous Maddens, I think pr actually last year or the year before. Uh, and this play is one, one, by far one of the best stock plays out there. Uh, you could attack your opponent uh, with a mesh concept in the middle, and it's got a nice post route where you can hit him for a good 30 yards or plus or more. And what's great about it is that you run a stock. You don't make any kind of adjustments. You don't have to the way to run this play. And it's great if you do it in complement uh, of a full scheme where you're attacking the sidelines against your opponent. So this is a great play to go and jump into. Now you can find this out of the Titans playbook, which I'm actually building a scheme out of. Uh, and then we also have the Steelers, Jets, Raiders, and Seahawks. So um, you want to go ahead and find this out of the wing, the gun wing slot offset formation. Uh, great formation with a lot of great plays uh, that we're going to go ahead and break down um, on our Patreon and our YouTube channel. So once again, it's going to be the wing slot offset. And what I like to do is I'd like to go ahead and, and create the wheel post is my, my hot audible uh, for my square route. I want to go ahead and put that in there uh, just so I can I can use it as one of my base plays. Uh, so let's just go ahead and run this against random. Uh, actually, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to run this against uh, a cover one blitzes, but I'll show you uh, basically my open field reads and I'll just kind of go from there. Now, open field, uh, really the inside, uh, the tight end number two, Smith, is going to be my primary read. He's going to determine where I'm going to go with the ball. Uh, my secondary read is going to be Henry with the, the run running black, block, black uh, block and release type of a play. So that running back block and release play uh, can get out to the flats against man coverages. And then my final read is going to be Matthews on the back end side. He's got that post where, they, where he goes in, goes down the, uh, down the sideline a little bit, and then he going to cuts back in for a deep post. Uh, Walker's route and Davis's routes are, are basically routes I'm not looking to. I can hit Walker's route on some type of man pressure, but really my, my preference is going to be this crossing route right here. That route is going to make a, a lot of my play, uh, a lot of my reads. So I just want to go and show it to you, open field, and what my progressions are. So my first read is going to be uh, number 81, which is my tight end. He actually got, he, he was uh, pushed off the line and off his route because of a blitz. But he's going to be my first progression where I'm going to go. My next progression is going to be the running back on the outside mesh route. So if he, if he doesn't block, which he should have blocked on a heavy blitz like this, uh, he's going to be able to get up a good like 10, uh, 5 yards or almost 10 yards, uh, and it'll be on the mesh route. And then the backside route, my next, my, my next progression, is going to be this guy right here. This is going to be the guy that I'm going to go look to uh, on the, the third progression based on the coverages. So once again, i got to have you blitz, and a lot of times what's going to happen is you're going to get a route like that. So a uh, heavy blitzing type situation, you can go and drop it down to the running back. So a guy's user can't user basically both of these routes because you got mesh underneath and it's going to be hard for him to stop that. Now cover two, once again, we're still going to use the same reads. And as you can see, uh, the cover two coverage carries if you wait for this route. Once again, cover two, uh, the routes are going to carry and it's going to give you an easy completion right there uh, with that backside guy. And also you've got the, the release route by the running back that you can, ch you can check down to underneath too. The deep posts uh, will basically get covered up, but you've got, uh, a, if you throw it early, you might be able to go and get in, in there. So once again, this is going to be your first area. See how he's, like the, the, the defender right here carries up, and this is going to be easy play that you can drop down to. And if you, if you do a spin move or a racket, uh, you can pick up some more yards. Uh, the running back route is on that block and release, and that's another area of the field that you can, you can attack. And then you can throw this route right here on the seam, and actually this route is wide open too, so that's another way that you can attack your opponent with cover two. So if he's actually playing some kind of hard squats, you can actually go ahead and attack him uh, with this particular route right here. So cover three is still the same kind of a look, uh, but now uh, that bottom, that release by the running back route will get wide open for you. So you still got the crosser, you got the underneath route by the running back, and this is where things get a little bit interesting with the running back. A lot of times you can force that in, and here is a, a big play opportunity on the back end side like that. So cover four, same kind of a way. 
You've got the little running back route. You can check down for a good nine yard gain. And you're just really going to focus on these three routes. So that's what's cool about it is it's just it's very hard to stop these three routes. This is a really good play to go and attack your opponent. You've got the crossing uh, routes. Uh, you've also got this deep post route that you can actually attack against your opponent. So uh, sometimes you're going to come up with some of those hard stops. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thanks for your support, guys. Make sure you hit the like button if you do like these tips. And I recommend going into uh, this uh, gun wing slot offset uh, playbook and take a look at that wheel, uh, wheel post drag if you can. So it's really, really good. So to my subscribers and my patrons, thank you for your support. And until next time.